There is this new evil in chess called Middens, the cat, the chess bot. And Magnus Carlsen, world champion himself, declined to play against this monster. But I am Wunger Master Dina Belenka, and I ain't no fear against cats. In fact, I actually prefer dogs. Hello, my friend. You ready to play against me? So today, we're gonna challenge this cat. Cutie, cutie. Meow, meow. We're gonna play white. E4. C5. Mmm, Sicilian. Mew, I am become Midens, the destroyer of kings. He he he. I'm inevitable. I am forever. Mew. He 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 he. Ah, oh, knock it off. Knight of three. Gonna develop. G6. Interesting. Mmm. G6. How about knight c3? Let's see what you have here against my. Knight of three, knight of three, still, and bishop g7. Wow, how about g3? Don't go for e6, it's a bad move. Knight c6, that's better. Bishop g2. Show me what you can. d6. Wow, interesting. Well, how about a castle short? All chess players eventually crumble under my mighty paws. Ah, you. Stop laughing. Let me see what you're gonna do after I destroy you on the chessboard. Kitty cat, d3, sure castle. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Let's go h3. I want to put my bishop on e3. I don't want to have your knight coming to g4. Bishop d7. Wow, how exciting. Let me put it like bishop e3, queen d2, and we're gonna go for bishop h6. Wow, queen c8, attacking h3 pawn. Ah, you think you could surprise me with this one? You thought I didn't see h3. Well, I got news for you, kitty cat. I saw it. King h2. Pawn is protected. Although, you can take it. b5, you're like, you're playing like any chess book would play. I'm wondering where did you steal these lines? Okay, we got a choice. Queen c1 or queen d2? Because I want to put my bishop on h6. And on b4, I'm gonna go knight d5. b4, knight d5. Knight takes d5. Pawn takes d5. I kind of don't want to go... I don't want to have bishop takes b2. Although, it's not the really not really a threat. How about queen d2? You're gonna do it. And knight d5 coming. b4, yeah, that's what I thought. Knight d5. Knight d5. Everything is under control. Knight takes d5, pawn takes d5. So far, so good. There's absolutely zero threat here. Ooh, knight d4. Oh, that's so interesting. All right. So our options are either bishop h6 or c3. If bishop h6, they go knight f3, bishop f3. Ah, the on um, meow 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 c3. See what you have here. Knight x. <gasps> Wait, did I just say myself that that there was a pawn? And I forgot about it a second after. Uh oh. Well, I have to take the knight though. Bishop h3, of course. Oh, b takes c3, attacking my queen. Ha, ha, ha. Very scary. b takes c3. Okay, you can do it. That's not, that's okay. I'm gonna put my rook on h1 and I'm gonna checkmate you. Now the question is, do I put the rook on h1 or do I go bishop h6 directly? I kind of feel like the first person to enter to this territory is gonna win. Although I do not like this one. Okay, this is a problem. Why did I even let him do that? Okay, we kind of... Oh no, queen f5, we can go bishop e4, but then it's gonna be queen h5. Gonna put a lot of headache to us. And if I go bishop e4, then queen g4. Mm, all right, all right, kitty cat. Mm, let me see what I can do for you. Oh no, my rook is... Just realized my rook is attacked. Oh my gosh. Rook h1, got no choice. But if queen, can we go here and then we put the rook king down. Yeah, that works. Rook h1. Queen f5. Bishop e4. Bishop g4. Wow. So exciting. That's a very nice move. Bravo, engine. Bravo, chess bot. You can do stuff. You can do stuff when you want. That's all right. You know what? Go for it. Go for it. I'm going to go bishop e4. Activating my bishop. Putting on the great spot. 
Rook B8? Seriously? My friend, you gotta go get a mate here, you see? Right after I put that here. Oh, by the way, yeah. <laughs> this chess bot. What? Bishop H6? Seriously? Meetings? Are you... Is that you? Oh, I don't recognize you. F5. Mm, now I see what she wants. If I go king g2, you're gonna go rook f7. And like this, the h7 pawn is protected. Right. Well, I don't wanna sack it. The, the queen, obviously. I'm not boat as gambiting anything here. Well, king g1 would be way too passive. So let's go with king g2. And after f7, I guess we can just go ship f3. Three and even after bishop takes, king takes it's still a pretty playable position. Yeah, I like it. Do I actually like it? It's not like I have a choice. Well, I do have a choice, king g1, but then and put the bishop on g2, but it's so passive. I so do not want to do it. Hmm. Oh, wait. I also have an f3 option. See, I only started really thinking now because before it was like kind of like it was an opening, I knew what to do. Now, in the middle game, we actually need to create. Okay, you know what? This seems like the most natural thing ever. Okay, rook f7. So far, I've been guessing every single move of yours, kitty cat. I feel like I should create something, but I cannot. It's because the bishop is protected, so I have to go bishop f3. And I'm pre-moving king takes f3. Yet another move that was guessed by Dina Bell and Kyle. f4. Mm. You're not impressing me with your moves at all. I can even take, but just because I don't want you to activate your queen, I'm gonna play g4 and block this f5 pawn. I really don't want to activate you. What is this? c4 wants to take my pawn. What if I just push? What's the problem here? You cannot even go rook b3 because the pawn will take. You cannot attack the c3. So I don't understand. I obviously will not capture because then the cat's queen is gonna be activated. Therefore, I'm just pushing the pawn. Oh, good. Pushing the pawn. Ooh, queen b7. You're such a naughty cat. You want to activate your queen right here. Well, you know what? Knock off. Okay, how about I put my rook here, queen b2, rook e6, with the idea, boom, 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 mate! Wait, the only problem is that he's gonna check me first. So on rook e6, rook e1, queen b2, rook e6, queen takes c3 check if i go backwards well in the worst case scenario you can even play queen d3 and protect the g6 and I, and i cannot sack so it doesn't work for me so in that case black threat is queen b2 attacking the pawn well i would just protect it it's all fine the only question is what do i do now so if i play let's say queen g5 what annoys me the most is that rook h3 queen b2 rook a h1. Queen takes check. Attacking the king. King g2. Huh? It's a nice move though. I like it. There's gonna be f3, king g3, queen d3, protecting whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I don't wanna let my opponent grab all the pawns. Oh, by the way, I just realized I have this rook b1 attacking the thing. Both things, actually. But the queen would take, rook would take, it would be a sack of the queen for two rooks. Not sure how good it is. Um, what is my plan? I mean, ideal, it would be just g5, queen g6, pawn takes g6, rook h8, king g7, and rook h7 mate. It's not a bad thing to dream. Back to reality. What am I gonna do here? I mean, I see his plan. Queen b2, rook c1, queen d2, and then rook comes to b2, and then queen takes f2, checkmate. Yeah, I gotta find something against it before it's too late. If I go queen g5, queen b2, queen rook c1, queen d2, rook h6, rook b2, check, takes, check. I don't know what to do. Oh, wait, there is some tactics here. Rook queen d2, rook takes h7, king takes h7, there is rook h1. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It was so beautiful. But what is this e5? <gasps> I cannot take on Passant because of the pin? Holy banana. Oh no. 
Oh, this is very bad. Oh my gosh, this is very bad. He wants to take them d5, and my queen is not protecting the d5 anymore. Wait, wait, does it mean d5 was attacked all this time and I didn't see that? Ha ha ha. Very funny, Dina. Very funny. Everybody breathe. <sighs> oh! I found it! That's the move! I'm gonna activate my king! Hey, they say don't bring your king so up. No, I know what they say. Don't tell me what they say. I know what they say without you. But if they take, then I... I don't find. That's fine. I cannot take because queen d5. And I... Rook b2, this is so annoying. Okay, so... Do I actually step into a mate? <gasps> do I actually step into a mate? Page 6. Queen takes. It's bad. Check. Gosh, it's... King e4? Yes, no. Yes, no. King four takes. King takes. Oh. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do. Am I overreacting? Yes! Uh, playing against the bot. This is IA. AI. Strongest thing that exists in chess. Even Magnus Kersling himself refused to play against this bot. Okay, yeah, Dina, you can do it. Oh, how about rook d1? No, it doesn't work. How about I just give my... No, it doesn't work. Why nothing works? Why? How can this bot come up with the moves that no one and no one would have ever expected? How is that possible? How is it doing this? Uh, I even found a mate. This oh look, this is so cute. King e4, queen b2, he takes c5, queen e2, king d4, queen d3 mate. Beautiful, isn't it? <gasps> Right in the middle of the board. <laughs> you have to go back. He's gonna take us. He's gonna take us. Yes, I see. I see that. I can see that. <sighs> the end is near. King G1. Mm. Queen F3. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, boys and girls. We shall never resign. Fight! 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 Uh, rook d1? We're fine. Like a slaughter. Rook f1? No, stop it. Okay, I'm sacrificing. That's it. I've had enough. I'm going for a perpetual. Rook g7. Queen e6 check. Uh huh. Scared? King h7. Queen f5 check. Scared again? King h8. Queen h5 check. Scared? Rook h7. Oh, where are my checks? All right, where are my checks? I'm not out of checks. I'm not out of checks. I'm not out of checks at all. I'm gonna go queen g6. Queen f6. Snatch Hold on. This is rook. But if I take, he takes back. <clears throat> up. We fight. We never resign. One should never resign in chess. We fight. We go up. Who knows? Maybe he will blunder stalemate. Well, you know what? I always prefer dogs over cats. Would you ever consider ever consider fighting middens? See? Dogs I would be a master, but for a cat, I'm a slave. Do think of your life choices when you're getting a domestic animal. Do not repeat my mistakes. Cheers.